Hey guys, and welcome to my thrifting video, my 90s thrifting video. So I'm thrifting right now, and so far I found this, and I just have a really clear vision for how I'm going to be wearing this. So let's keep thrifting and finding more 90s inspired outfits. Not focusing on. Basically, I'm really passionate about this video and I made a whole itinerary, is that what you call it? Like researching a bunch of like what people wore in the 90s. I didn't think I was gonna come thrifting today, so I left that itinerary at home. So I'm just going from what's in like my brain. We're gonna be trying this stuff on to see how you know it fits. But I like how like it's like really low cut over here. Let's keep looking. American apparel black pants I don't think these are gonna fit me but look at the price this price is gold $7.99 no. yeah color blocking was really big in the 90s and I just found this shirt and like it was like I was like <gasps> But then I was like, eh. But then I'm like, kind of, <gasps> again, because it just reminds me of something that Will Smith would wear with overalls. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Let's see. You don't understand. This is an alaya. It's like a totally important designer. Well, at least I wouldn't skin a collie to make my backpack. It's faux. Feathers. Really big in the 90s. Okay, so I know that like mini skirts and stuff were like really popular in the 90s. <laughs> I see we've customized our Red Robin uniform. But it's not something that like, I really wear, so I'm gonna be making this like 90s thrift, but like my style. <laughs> but if you like skirts and stuff, and if you live in LA, the Glendale Goodwill is the best. Best prices, like this is $5.49. Something you can get a top shop for like $60. This is like really ugly though. <laughs> This is in it. I'm gonna say this really fast because like you, obviously the music, I need to be really careful trying things on. I have four things to try on because I have my wig on right now and I have a turtleneck so I can't take this off or else my whole wig is gonna like fly off and stuff. So I have to be really careful but I'm gonna try to try these things on. This already looks so 90s, just like this, how I'm wearing it right now. I always wear these sneakers. White chunky sneakers are like my thing, but I think this is a yes. This obviously looks really bad as how I'm wearing it, but I think this is a yes. I like how it's like low cut over here. Okay, so the last thing is this shirt. And I'm not gonna try it on just because it is a turtleneck and it's just really dangerous to try it on, but I'm just gonna assume that it fits me because it just looks like it does fit me. And I'm gonna get this one. Well, the things I said yes to. Except this one doesn't fit the way I wanted it to, but yeah. That's why I should always try things on. And I'm not gonna try it on, but I'm just gonna assume that it fits me because it just looks like it does fit me. So I'm in the restroom right now and I hope that nobody comes in as I'm speaking, so I'm gonna do this really fast. But I'm gonna give you guys an OOTD. This shirt is from Wasteland, and this turtleneck is from Walmart. I got it in 2014. You know how like now people are trying to do those um, making Walmart trendy type videos? I've been doing that forever. These earrings are from Urban. My fanny bag is from Wasteland, and my jeans are from Urban. Really high-waisted jeans. And then my shoes that I always wear, my Fila's. So, 
a OTD and my hair is in a bun. And I just washed my hands after thrifting. We are leaving Goodwill and look what my dad bought, a vintage Gucci wallet and it was $14.99. Like I'm telling you guys that this is the best thrift store in LA. Everything is like so well priced. <laughs> It's a, another day and I'm thrifting again. And so far I found this shirt. And this Dior Fanny Pass, authentic. And this Louis Vuitton bag. I'm not sure if this print was like popular in the 90s. Now for the talking part of this video. Here I have my notebook that like I wrote all my information on and I'm gonna be reading off of it let you guys know what I kind of researched the biggest trends in the 90s were chunky shoes aka buffalo shoes so as for the chunky shoes I have this one this one I got buffalo exchange for like $50 and then you know the part where I said that People are trying to make Walmart trendy now, but I've been doing that forever. That is really true. I got these at Walmart. These are other chunky shoes, but they're like black chunky sandals. So as you can see, they look exactly like almost the same. This one was 15. This one was like, I think $12. Life hack. And also Doc Martens were really popular. The 90s, honestly, what a time in fashion because now we are bringing a lot of their fashion pieces into 2019. It's honestly one of my favorite eras in fashion. Yeah, what a time to be alive once again. Leopard print. One of my favorites right now. I have this leopard purse. And this one I got on eBay for like $15. So always look on eBay, you can get good deals there. Baggy overalls, my jeans, they've always been in, but they're so trendy right now, especially if you have like the light denim washed ones, like the mom high-waisted jeans. Those are super in right now. Windbreakers. I'm not a big fan of them anymore. I used to be. But yes, windbreakers. Especially the color blocking ones. And turtlenecks. Turtlenecks are just a staple. I recommend to have one in your closet. A black one or a white one. It makes any outfit look better. Okay, so now for the popular accessories are tiny sunglasses. I have a ton of sunglasses. I am obsessed with them. They are something that will just add to your outfit and make it look even better. And I love tiny sunglasses and dad sunglasses. So these are like the dad sunglasses that I'm talking about. So they're honestly not for everybody. I mean, not everybody's gonna like them. I personally like them, but I love sunglasses. So yeah, tiny sunglasses. You can get them at like any kiosk, like especially in LA, they have them like everywhere or like stores, order them on eBay and Amazon. Tiny bags, like the one that we saw at the thrift store. Also what I see right now, like a lot on Instagram, like on those Instagram girls are like barrettes, like the little clips, especially if they're colorful. Also like butterfly clips and bucket hats. I own a ton of bucket hats. I own this like Fendi one. It's not actual Fendi. I got it at Wasteland. It's a silk bucket hat But bucket hats are super great, especially if you're having like a bad hair day this I got at Buffalo Exchange It's like a furry one and then this the Goodwill that we went to See it's like a Burberry print bucket hat. It was three dollars. I'm telling you guys that that Goodwill is the best Goodwill and then this white classic bucket hat i got it at forever 21 yeah bucket hats were a really big thing now the movies that we think about when we think the 90s for me it's clueless i love clueless i have this big clueless poster frame in my room and it's not like to be basic because i know that everybody who's basic likes clueless but i actually genuinely love it and i love the fashion and i can watch that movie like five times a day without getting bored like I love it so much and I have a picture of me, I'll pop it over here. I think I was 14 or 13 in this picture and I asked for Clueless for Christmas. And also every time I'm in a plane, nine times out of 10, I'm always watching Clueless if they have it on the TV thing. What I was trying to find in the thrift store for like my 90s inspired outfits is something that I always saw like Cher wearing. I have a problem pronouncing my CHs, so sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but Cher, you know, the character from Clueless, the main character this one so she wore like these i don't know what they're called but they're like shirts with like the little feathers over here like the little fluff and i couldn't find that but 
here is where I was trying to kind of DIY it with the shoe. I was trying to like say if I can cut the feathers off of the shoe and put it around the little sleeves of the shirt that would be so iconic but i'm not like a sewer like, i don't know how to sew or anything so yeah but that'd be really cool now let's get into how i styled everything that i got at the thrift store <laughs> First outfit I have my turtleneck shirt that I got at the thrift store and then actually that day I ended up going to Topshop and I got these pants very the Spice Girl pants and they're from the Ragged Priest and I got them for like $49 they were on clearance and as my accessories I went with this vintage Dior purse that I got at the trading post for $60 my tiny sunglasses that I also got the Melrose trading post and then for my earrings I found them in my mom's like jewelry box so they're actually like vintage from like when she wore them in the 90s and I just like them because they have like the little black detail with the pearls and I just think that looks like really classy and then for my hair I just went for like a slick back low bun and i wore it with a scrunchie that kind of matched the color of my turtleneck so for my second outfit it was very heavily will smith inspired so i have the color block shirt that i got at the thrift store and then the overalls i got them at the mellows trading post for 40 dollars and they're from gap then i wore my white bucket hat because again bucket hats were really big in the 90s and then as for my fanny pack it's gucci but fanny packs were really big in the 90s like you would see everybody wearing fanny packs and then my shoes i didn't show these in the fit but they were filas i wear them all the time my last and final outfit was very DJ Tanner inspired. Their fashion in Full House is so good and like so underrated. Basically, I'm wearing the turquoise shirt that I got at the thrift store and then I paired it with these high-waisted pants. High-waisted pants are everything. The high-waisted pants are from Urban Outfitters. My earrings are these cherry earrings. I just love cherries a lot. Big hoops, really big in the 90s. The hoops are from Forever 21. And then my hair, I put it in a high ponytail. I have like a Moschino charm bracelet. My shoes were the black chunky ones from Walmart. And then my purse is a Louis Vuitton. I'm sorry, my like camera stick fell. But my purse is a Louis Vuitton monogram multicolor purse. This purse was more seen in like the early 2000s, like Paris Hilton, Kim Kardashian, Paris Hilton. Like when I see this purse, I just, it reminds me of Paris Hilton. So that's how I styled all these outfits that I got at the thrift store and just kind of pair them with things that I already had. I think the only thing that I bought was for the first outfit, the Ragged Priest pants but they were just like i need to get them that's how i sell these outfits oh and also the second day that we were thrifting i did not get that first shirt that i like was showing you guys because it ended up it was like 25 dollars and it was kind of too expensive and i kind of already had something similar to that so this is a shirt that was like similar to the one that i was gonna get as you can see this one is different color but like almost like very much alike and this one i got it at the thrift store in glendale for six dollars after i went thrifting at that one here i'll post a clip that one thrift store that i was at i went to the goodwill in beverly like on fairfax and got this burberry bag like i couldn't believe it like i've been wanting i've been looking for a burberry bag for the longest time for like seven months already and i finally have one and look because it goes with the bucket hat 
guys are not even gonna believe this price, $34.99. This is why thrifting is amazing. You can always find cool, unique pieces and also like designer bags. Yeah, really happy about that. So that was my 90s thrifting video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I helped you guys give you a little inspiration to go thrifting or whatever. I feel like everybody goes thrifting nowadays. I personally really enjoy it. Like it's really fun for me. We'll see you guys in the next one. So thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.